everybody, including me, wants to know, where, where do I get dry ice? I think ice? it's magic, and it's, there's nothing magic at all. So here's what I did today. I took the camera, we went out to SmartCo in Littleton and asked them if we could just show people where to get dry ice. So take a look. What's well, that time of the year and dry ice is super popular and you're going to find dry ice, believe it or not, at probably your local grocery store. Just ask the customer service uh, counter where the dry ice is and they're probably going to send you to a chest that looks like this. Here's what it looks like inside. Always start with the gloves because dry ice is 110 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. It's about 78 degrees Celsius below zero. So a big chunk like this is about 10 pounds. That's going to be pretty good. I'm not going to use all of it today. And so I'm going to buy a little bit extra because remember it turns into a gas. Well, the next thing you need to do is to store it properly. And I would suggest going to the store and taking one of these coolers, a very inexpensive styrofoam cooler. Believe it or not, that's the secret to keeping dry ice. This cooler here will keep the dry ice for about 24 hours and you're only going to lose about 30 or 40 percent and it seems like a lot but that's great for the dry ice. Don't go and put this in your freezer because you'll actually trick your freezer into thinking that it's too cold and it will shut off and then you'll ruin all your food. So just keep it in the chest. The styrofoam is a perfect insulator for it and uh, you're ready for your Halloween activities. There it is. What a great tip. I would have fun? dumped it right in the freezer. What a great tip. <laughs> Don't do that. Here it is. So this is our dry ice uh, from earlier. And then, um, so here, I'm going to throw on the, the gloves or the safety oh, glasses yes, okay. like this. And then you just kind of hit it and break it up into some small pieces. And that's exactly what we have here are these small pieces. And that's what we need for the experiment today. Oh, OK. Fair then, enough. Now you know, because everyone wants to know, where do I get it? About a dollar a pound. About oh, a dollar cheap. a pound. And so it's easy. Cheap. All right, so watch this real fast. I, we've had so much fun with this in the office today. So here's what we have. We just took these uh, red cups, uh -huh. put a hole in the bottom Party of the cups. red cup, oh, okay? Hole in the bottom. And show on the other side, I have a clear one so you can see what's going on. On the other side, I just took a piece of plastic like saran wrap and stretched it over the top. All rubber banded Got on it? here, saran wrap. So now you need a little bit of uh, oh. water. So turn this over here. And so we okay. need some water that goes inside like this. It'll okay. be a little bit wet, but it won't be too bad. Ready? Right. So this goes in here. Better than being on and fire, as I always yeah, say. Exactly, during the right? Segment. Yeah. And now uh, I'm going to put some dry ice in there. So I want the dry ice to go into the cup. And so we want some good bubbling going on down inside. Oh, there, there we go. So you yep. get some good Bubbling, bubbling right on. away. There you go. I'll kind of push it in for okay. you a little bit more, and you're set. Okay. And I'll try the same thing with mine. Ooh, what we're look actually at that. going to do. There you go. See your little bubbling that happens. All right. So here we go. Get in there. Which one? So has what the we're going to do? Yeah, so it's magic this way. All right. So watch what happens now that we've got this bubbling going on with the dry ice. This will keep the kids busy for a long time. Now watch. Uh, you kind of pick it up like this, and now just give a little tap and watch the beautiful little smoke rings that'll shoot. Isn't that fun? So you see the. <laughs> Look at those. That. So here they are. So we just have here to they come, so they, Kim. There you go. So they, <laughs> see, aren't they fun? So look at these little tiny smoke rings that you can make just over and over and over. Isn't We're just that using, great? So a little vortex there. No need for a smoke machine with this one. We're just using dry ice. And you're getting these great little smoke rings. And the trick here is just a little tiny puff and you've got it. Are those fun? <laughs> Isn't all that right. great? So we put all the information up online so that you can kind of see what's going on. A whole bunch on dry ice safety. And who doesn't like to make smoke rings?